What's up guys, Victor Salcedo here with i15 RV. I'm getting ready to show you guys why this is one of the best selling travel trailers in America today. Let's go. All right guys, this is the 2024 Gray Wolf 26 DBH. This unit is 32 feet, two inches long, and it's gonna be right around 6,300 pounds dry. You're gonna have a 1,500 pound electric tongue jack on the front, two propane bottles, and a spot to put uh, two batteries. Over here, you have a nice pass-through storage. You're gonna get this little ambient light that will display the logo on the ground in the evening time, which I think is actually really cool. Manual stabilizing jacks. You're gonna have an outside kitchen on this unit which I know everybody loves nowadays. You're gonna have a little propane grill right here, ice maker, outside shower, and you'll have a little 12 volt refrigerator out here as well. Now you're gonna notice we're in direct sunlight right now. Sun's shining over there right onto this window. And this window is actually UV tinted. So when you put your hand up to it, this has been sitting out in the sun all day today and it is cool to the touch, not, bur not burning my hand at all. So I really love that they put UV tints on the windows. Nice 12 volt electric awning with a blue LED light strip underneath, TV mount with a cable connection and GFI plugs underneath. You're gonna have these two outside speakers which also glow blue just like the uh, uh, LED light strip which really adds to the nighttime feel of this coach. You're gonna have a second entry on this one as well so when everyone is out here playing, camping, having a good time, and they, and they need to use the restroom, they could just go straight into the restroom instead of tracking a bunch of dirt and mud in the house. Here we go. Here's one of the biggest reasons why Grey Wolves sell so well. Already comes with a backup camera. That will connect to your phone. There's another system where you can uh, connect a monitor that goes inside of your tow vehicle, but just using it on the phone, we found has just been the easiest. You're going to get a uh, bike rack here on the rear as well. This supports about 300 pounds. You can put bikes, generators, electric bikes, all that fun stuff. And you're going to get a, you're going to get a spare tire uh, on the back here as well. Stepping inside the coach, you're going to get some absolutely beautiful colors. Everybody, everybody, everybody loves the interior of these Grey Wolves. Close that door real quick. Just take a look at this before we dive into it. I'm actually going to start at the back today and make my way towards the front. So we're going to start with this rear restroom. You're going to have a nice rectangular sized shower. I'm six feet tall and I can fit in this one very well. So if you're around my height, you're going to have no issues with this. And families love that you have a little tub here. So if you have a little two-year-old that you don't want taking a stand-up shower, having that tub is really important. You're going to have a nice medicine cabinet here as well. One piece sink, little storage space underneath, little light switch here, control the lights in the restroom. And then I believe this is going to control your water heater in here as well. Sipping over here to our bunk beds, we're going to have uh, USB and USB-C um, connections there to charge up iPads, phones, tablets, all that fun stuff. Another USB charging there, as well as lights on both. And there is actually an exterior storage that leads to storage underneath this bottom bunk. I forgot to show that to you, but you definitely have a bunch of space under there to put a lot of bags and gear and storage and whatnot. You're actually gonna get, gonna get a little ladder to get up onto this top bunk. You don't see this on too many coaches nowadays. So the fact that they put this system in here is gonna be very helpful to a lot of families. Over here, look at that blue lighting on the slide out. Gosh, it looks cool. Over here on your slide out, you're going to have a large U shaped dinette. Uh, pull up and pull to access the storage underneath the dinette. Of course, this will become a bed and sleep too comfortably. You're going to have the uh, zebra shades on the, uh, the windows here, which is cool because you can make them either blackout, translucent, or push them all the way up to let the sunlight in. So that's pretty cool. Steeding here to be able to enjoy a TV that you mount or the fireplace. And of course, this is a jackknife, so this will pull out into a bed super easily. 
As I said before, TV back here, here to put a flat screen TV, a little cubby space there to put cards and board games, all that fun stuff. Electric fireplace has about 5,000 BTUs of heat. This, with the door closed, will warm up this entire coach in the winter seasons extremely well. Over here, you're going to have your control panel, all your switches and slide outs and voltage readings and all that fun stuff. One thing I like about these now, they're putting way fancier uh, kitchen uh, accessories on the sink. So you get these little wash trays with this little cover to be able to drain out, you know, if you wash fruit and stuff, little drain rack for cups and whatnot, little cutting board, that a hand sanitizing station down below. And, and as you can see, someone used it when they weren't supposed to, and a little cup cleaner. So if you have a cup, just like if you see at the restaurants, you push this down and it cleans the cup with a high pressure uh, squirt of water. So I think that's pretty cool. Obviously, big ridiculous discount on this one. Fancy faucet on this one. Storage underneath. Small trash can under there. More storage here. Uh, stainless steel uh, sink. Three burner stove top over here which is pretty cool. And you're going to have one of the first contour convection microwave and air fry ovens. So that's pretty awesome. One thing I'm really excited about is this new Furion fridge. Um, one thing that you'll notice on travel trailers nowadays, they kind of compensate on having big fridges. And this one, not only does this open up in both directions, come on now, but it has this ice tray underneath kind of simulating a big 16 cubic foot refrigerator. It's not that big, but it definitely gives you a lot of space. And I just, I just really like it. I kind of mixed opinions on it so far from everyone else in the office, but personally, I really like it. 15 K Coleman mock AC. Um, you'll notice you have a speaker there and a speaker here as well. Um, you'll notice as well, I'm going to go like this so you can see, see so yeah, how you have that, uh, that logo it says gray wolf. That way, oh, you can actually see it. So you're going to have the, the uh, logo display here at nighttime. Obviously, it's, you're able to view it way easier, way better. And it just looks really cool. Coming over here to the bedroom. Not much of a bedroom. More so pocket doors that you're able to close off and give yourself some privacy from the kids. We're going to have a comfortable mattress. Closet space on either side of the bed. Storage up above. Reading lights over your head. And of course, storage underneath. So I hope you guys are excited about this unit as I am. I'm absolutely in love with this. If I was in a position to get one, this would be the one me and my family would roll out in. If you're interested in this one or any of the other RVs that I've done YouTube videos on, you can text me or call me 760-559-6103 or go to i15rv.com to take a look at all of our inventory. And if you want special discounting and pricing, make sure you go directly through me, Victor Salcido. I can't wait to serve you and your family, and we'll see you guys on the next video.